All right, how is your leadership garden growing? So the old adage is true, what you sow, you reap, right? Um, I, I love this Napoleon Hill quote. He says, think before you speak because your words will plant the seed of either success or failure for you and another. For you and another. So what you sow is what you reap. You know, most young and inexperienced leaders that, that I coach, you know, they show up and they're like, hey man, come on, just do the work because I told you to, right? And gosh, wouldn't that be lovely? Wouldn't that be great as a, as a boss to just come in and say, hey, go do that thing because I told you. Wouldn't it be great as a parent, especially the parent of a teenager or two or three, um, to come in and say, hey man, go get the dishes done. And just magically it gets done. Wouldn't that be awesome? Well, unfortunately, that's not really how that works, right? When you come in with that authoritative mode um, and, and maybe you put a little bit of emotion or some people call it passion. Sometimes it's seen as anger behind what you say. It doesn't really work out that way, right? Your words as a leader have great importance, not only for you, but also for your people, okay? So for example, I, I worked with a coaching client not too long ago, uh, very young, very young. Um, an excellent leader, by the way, just because she was young does not mean she wasn't a great leader. However, when she came onto the team, uh, she was younger than everybody on the team. And because of that, she had this mindset, this belief that people were not going to listen to her because she was young, okay? Now, what happened was she would show up and uh, there was a behavior maybe that needed to be addressed and she knew they weren't going to listen to her, so she ignored it. Or there was, you know, people coming late to, to meetings, but she wouldn't say anything, right? There were issues that were happening, but because she had that belief, uh, it, she wouldn't do anything about it. Now, her holding back her words, right? She could not sow those really good, you know, words like encouragement, support, how can I help you? Hey, listen, we have a problem. Let's work on it together, right? She withheld her seed, if you will. And if you don't do something about it, guess what? You're not going to reap the harvest, the reward that you want, right? I mean, that's common sense. Haha, <laughs> common sense, right? But that's a little bit logical, isn't it? Okay, now let me transport us to another realm here, right? I'm going to give you uh, an example of, of a leader that works with a team that I have done some thinking partner with, work with before. So this team leader, he is amazing, okay? He is definitely a leader that when he gets his team together, he's a facilitator, Okay, so he doesn't come in and tell people what to do. He facilitates conversations. So he's very adept at uh, asking really great questions, listening for intent and ideas, um, and referring people to each other. Okay, I actually really love sitting in on their, their team meetings. Now, I don't know if his team knows how, how awesome and amazing and how lucky they are, blessed to have that kind of a leader, but I hope they do know that. Now, what he does is he plants seeds of success in his team. Now, he doesn't come right out and tell them, right? He doesn't say, hey, listen, now I'm going to give you an encouraging word, right? But he plants those seeds of success. So guess what he gets back? Whatever you plant, you're going to get back, right? He, he, he gets that crop back. So, you know, realizing that as a leader, you're a farmer, right? Um, so for example, you, you don't plant a corn seed and get spinach. Think about that. You don't go out and plant a corn seed and then all of a sudden 12 weeks later go, oh look, the spinach is done. That's not how that works. The same is true for you. You can't show up every day and, you know, demean or, or belittle or, you know, even just the, the nuances of communication, maybe you're communicating in your communication style and not the other person's, and you need to adjust that a little bit, right? So maybe you know, you're planting seeds, but you're not getting the crop that you want. You're, the results are not there, okay? So what do you do? 
What do you do? Well, the first thing, uh, and, and often many leaders, they struggle with this, they see the result they're getting and they give excuses about what happened to get to that result. They're ignoring, denying, fighting, blaming, right? That doesn't help. Because let's face it, if you go to the field and you see that you have spinach, you can do the backtracking and say, hmm, I think I might have planted spinach seeds. Okay? So denying that fact does not help you. Looking at the result and saying, that's not what I wanted. What do I need to do? Oh, yes, I need to go and find the corn seed because it's the corn that I really want. Maybe you need to go and you need to take a course. Maybe you need to work with a coach. Maybe you need to find a mentor, right? So really what I'm saying is that you need to be exposed to the ideas that are the seeds that you want to plant so that you actually get that result, okay? Couple questions. What kind of leader are you? Have you ever stopped to think about that? What kind of leader are you? What kind of leader do you want to be? And are those two things aligned? Okay. What kind of seeds are you planting in your people? And where is the evidence for your crop? Okay. Think about that. Where's the evidence? If you say, yes, I'm, I'm, these are the seeds I'm planting. Is that showing up in your people? Okay. A, an easy thing here. You know, if you say one of our values is that we're going to respect each other's time, right? And you, you may even have your values that are, are printed on your, your letterhead and they're, they're put on all your materials and maybe they're even, you know, up there on your wall, right? We respect people's time. Okay. So if that's a value to you, do you as the leader show up to a meeting late? Just a question. Because if you keep showing up to a, a meeting late, you are modeling that for your people you're probably not going to get the crop that you want. Okay. So, you know, today I'm just, I'm really here just to throw this idea out to you. And, and quite honestly, I've been talking to a lot of people lately and they're seeing results of maybe some seeds of, of other leaders before them. And they're trying to really weed out some, some weeds and, and get some good seed in there. And I've also been talking to leaders who, uh, unfortunately, they're seeing results out, out of this pandemic that they were not expecting. And so now they're like, oh no, you know, I didn't know that I needed to plant that seed during that time, right? So in essence, I'm trying to get you to understand what seeds am I planting? Where's the evidence for that? And what do I really want to happen? Okay. If you, if you need to talk through that, let me know, send me an email. Uh, we can set up a time to chat, but if you really, really want to go deep into that and, and understand more about leadership in general, how to raise your leadership ability and do it within an environment of, uh, leaders who are learning all of that for themselves, but also that are ready to learn with each other, right? To grow and support each other. Really what I'm trying to do with the Empowered Leaders membership group is to include such a rich environment, uh, a community that is, is kind of like a field, right? I, I'm watering it, I'm fertilizing it, I'm putting good seed in there, I am making sure, you know, that, that the frost doesn't get to it, that kind of thing. Um, if you want to be a part of that kind of growth environment with other leaders, please consider joining the Empowered Leaders Membership Group. I'll leave all the information in the description for you, but jump into that group, at least follow the link and see if it's right for you. And please let me know if you have any questions about that, okay? Awesome. Hey, thank you so much for joining us today, guys. I hope you're doing well. I hope things are going well for you. Uh, if you find yourself in need... You know, sometimes life is hard and, and I know that we're, things are kind of opening up. Some people are going back to work. Some people are not. Um, lately I've been really exposed to a lot of people who are having deaths in the family. Um, things that, that they might have been looking forward to for a while, but it's just happening now, right? If you are in need and, and you just need somebody to talk to, would you reach out to me? I've been in that place before where it's, it's a lonely place where, where life gets hard and I never want people to go through something alone. So if you need something, reach out to me. I will do my very best to make sure that I can be there for you. Okay. Awesome. So with that, I release you into the wild, go forth and prosper, have an amazing day and we'll catch you next time. All right. Bye-bye.